The Spanish hostile obsession with Morocco dates back centuries, rooted in a complex history of conquest, colonization, and territorial disputes. From the early days of the Reconquista to the modern era of border tensions and political maneuvering, the relationship between Spain and Morocco has been marked by conflict, competition, and mutual suspicion. The roots of this obsession can be traced back to the medieval period when Spain was engaged in a centuries-long struggle to reconquer the Iberian Peninsula from Muslim rule. The Moors, as the Muslim inhabitants of Spain were known, had established a powerful and sophisticated civilization in the region, and their presence posed a constant threat to the Christian kingdoms of the north. As the Spanish kingdoms gradually expanded their territory and pushed the Moors southward, they began to view Morocco as a natural extension of their own domain. The idea of reclaiming the North African coast from Muslim control became a central goal of Spanish foreign policy, and the desire to establish a foothold in Morocco fueled a series of military expeditions and diplomatic initiatives. The Spanish obsession with Morocco only intensified during the age of exploration and colonization, as Spain sought to expand its empire and secure its position as a global power. The strategic importance of North Africa as a gateway to the riches of the East made Morocco a key target for Spanish expansion, and the Spanish crown spared no effort in its quest to establish control over the region. The Spanish conquest of Morocco was marked by violence, betrayal, and political intrigue as rival factions vied for power and influence in the volatile North African landscape. The Spanish military launched a series of campaigns against the Moroccan forces, seeking to subdue the local population and establish a firm grip on the region. Despite their best efforts, however, the Spanish were never able to fully conquer Morocco, and the dream of a Spanish-controlled North Africa remained elusive. The Moroccan people, fiercely proud and fiercely independent, resisted Spanish domination at every turn, and the Spanish forces found themselves bogged down in a seemingly endless cycle of conflict and rebellion. In the modern era, the Spanish obsession with Morocco has taken on new dimensions as the two countries continue to grapple with issues of border security, immigration, and political instability. The Spanish enclaves of Ceuta and Melilla, located on the North African coast, have become flashpoints for tensions between the two nations, as Morocco seeks to assert its sovereignty over these disputed territories. The Spanish government, for its part, has adopted a hard-line stance on issues of immigration and border control, viewing Morocco as a source of instability and insecurity. The influx of migrants and refugees from North Africa has strained relations between the two countries, leading to accusations of human rights abuses and diplomatic standoffs. Despite these challenges, the Spanish obsession with Morocco shows no signs of abating. The historical, cultural, and geopolitical ties that bind the two nations together continue to shape their interactions, fueling a complex and often contentious relationship that is unlikely to be resolved anytime soon. In conclusion, the Spanish hostile obsession with Morocco is a multifaceted phenomenon that reflects the deep-seated historical, political, and cultural connections between the two nations. From the medieval era to the modern age, Spain's fixation on Morocco has driven its foreign policy, shaped its military strategy, and influenced its national identity. As long as these ties endure, the Spanish obsession with Morocco will remain a defining feature of the country's relationship with its North African neighbor.